Welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel. In this video, I found inspiration from Miss Star Monique One off of TikTok. She did this half up, half down style that I absolutely fell in love with, and I had to give it a try on our beautiful Kehlani, our middle child. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I went about doing this gorgeous half up, half down style on Kehlani. Before we get into the details, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, how you doing? Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I am washing Kehlani's hair. I am going in with the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. I'll be using this entire brand for pressing her hair out and everything. So from the shampoo, from the conditioner, all all of the styling products are going to be from the Sleek and Shine Garnier Fruities. So I do a quick wash, condition, detangle, and we're washing out the rest of the conditioner. Look how pretty her hair is. I love washing Lani's hair. Her hair is probably my favorite to wash. So then we're going to take this to the styling room so we can give it, begin styling. I am first going to go in with the Garnier Fruities Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. This is kind of like our moisturizer, our leave-in conditioner, and it also helps with detangling too so even though I've already detangled her hair once we washed it I am still going to do another deep detangling just to make sure her hair is nice and smoothed out and then I'm gonna begin doing my half up half down part now y'all know I love a good parting session so I'm gonna just let this one up speak for itself If you happen to be new to my parting session, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know I love to go in. After I do my initial part, I go back in with a braiding gel, any kind of like thick gel, not an eco styler. So for mine of choice, I go in with the Let's Jam Extra Hold and that is what I use to get that extra pristine, like precise, clean, part so then we're going to go in with braiding so we are doing knotless or feed in braids so i have lonnie holding the braiding hair that we will be adding in addition of course i could have did this look without it but the braiding hair definitely helps hold those braids a lot longer than me just doing her own hair by herself so even though the braiding hair may not be necessary as far as thickness for her hair it definitely helps with longevity of the braids i don't know why but i feel like i get at least an extra week out of these braids when I add braiding hair versus not. So for my technique on doing feed in braids, I add in the hair using my left, my right hand, I'm sorry. So I hold the hair, take a break, grab some hair, and as you can see, I am uh, taking one side and holding it, and I bring it between my index finger and my thumb, where my left hand is, and then the other side, I bring back and I just fold it, for, or begin braiding it, back and that is going to be my same technique over and over so i'll be showing you over and over so you can kind of see kind of grass i have a hard time explaining it but i only add hair with my right hand
this is what we're looking like after we have I have completed her braids now it's time to do that back section now in the photo that I put in the beginning of this video her hair is straight bone straight now she added weave a quick weave to her hair to give her length Lonnie is already blessed with length I just need to get her bone straight so I'm going to be pressing her hair out so again going in with my Garnier Fructis I'm still going to be using that brand to get her this straight hair and this these products have been working well this is probably about my third time straightening out Lonnie's hair so I'm first going to go in with this like anti-frizz serum so it's like a oil a very heavy oil like almost um jelly like and then I smooth that all over and then I'm also going to go in and brush it through and then I'm going to go ahead and part off section off a thin piece of hair and I'm going to go in with the flat iron perfector spray I missed that is it just a slight mist of her hair I don't want to dampen her hair whatsoever just a slight mist and this is going to help like create kind of some steam for her hair as I flat iron it to get the bone straightness that we need I have my flat iron set to uh, 400 Fahrenheit and I'm taking my time through these strands. I'm making sure that my strands aren't too thick and they're also not too thin. And I do about two to three passes close to her roots. That's where I have the most difficult time with her frizziness. And I probably do one to two passes at her ends. And that's just depending on if the ends are cooperating with me or not. So, and that's it, that's really just it. So I'm taking my time with this, making sure I get every strand as sleek as possible. And look at that shine. The shine is everything. And I mean, I just, I really love the way her hair comes out. And just look at all that body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Look at all that body. I add some beads to the two strands that we have hanging on the sides and that is to complete this look. Definitely love the inspiration from Star Monique One at TikTok. And thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.